And this is Mrs. Peacock. How do you do? Hello. Yvette, will you go and check that dinner will be ready as soon as all the guests have arrived? and it might as well be me. I mean, I'm used to being a hostess. It's part of my husband's work, and it's always difficult when a group of new friends meet together for the first time to get acquainted. So I'm perfectly prepared to start the ball rolling. I mean, I, I have absolutely no idea what we're doing here, or what I'm doing here, or what this place is about, but I am determined to enjoy myself, and I'm very intrigued, and oh my, this soup's delicious, isn't it? You say you are used to being a hostess as part of your husband's work? Yes, it's an integral part of your life when you are the wife of a... Oh, but then I forgot we're not supposed to say who we really are, though, heavens to Betsy, I don't know why. Don't you? I know who you are. Aren't you going to tell us? How do you know who I am? I work in Washington, too. Washington? So you're a politician's wife? Yes, I, I am. I need a drink. Maybe he was poisoned. Ah! Mrs. Peacock, please. Ah! Mrs. Peacock, it's all right. Ah! Right. You don't know anything. Ah! Sit down. Ah! Sit down, Mrs. Ah! I had to stop her from screaming. Was the brandy poisoned? I don't. Looks like we'll never know. Unless, unless she dies too. in the cellar. No, but you were. So? You murdered them all. You were the person who was missing when the cook and Mr. Body were murdered. And the cook used to be your cook. Don't you remember your fatal mistake? You told us at dinner that we were eating one of your favorite recipes. And monkey's brains, though popular in Cantonese cuisine, are not often to be found in Washington, D.C. Is that what we ate? <laughs> Why would I have murdered all the others? Obviously, in case Mr. Body had told them about you. So it was all nothing to do with a disappearing nuclear physicist and Colonel Mustard's work on the new fusion bomb. No, communism was just a red herring. Mrs. Peacock did it all. There's no proof. Well, the gun is missing. Gentlemen, turn out your pockets. Ladies, empty your purses. Whoever has the gun is the murderer. Very well. What do you propose to do about it? Nothing. Nothing? Nothing at all. I don't approve of murder, but it seems to me you've done the world a public service by ridding it of an appalling blackmailer and his disgusting informers. But the police will be here any minute. What happens then? Why should the police come? Nobody's called them. You mean... That's right. Now, I suggest that we stack the bodies in the cellar, lock it, leave quietly one at a time, and pretend that none of this has ever happened. Great idea. I'll leave first, if you don't mind. Oh, be my guest. In fact, I think we all owe you a vote of thanks. For she's a jolly good fellow. For she's a jolly good fellow. For she's a jolly good fellow. Which nobody can deny. Which nobody can deny. Which nobody can deny. For she's a jolly good fellow, for she's a jolly good fellow, for she's a jolly... Oh, Mrs. Peacock. How did you know my name? The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Okay. <laughs> 
Take her away. Take your hands off me. I'm the senator's wife. What's worth? We got her. You see, it's like the Monty's. We always get our man. Mrs. Peacock was a man? <coughs> Would anyone care for fruit or dessert?